Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome, Cross Watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, what's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know. So whenever you see this will be the right time. But as always, take what resonates. Leave out the rest. Practice using your own discernment. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on all social media. TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. All information for personal readings is in the description box below for you all. All right, so Gemini, I was picking up on like paranoia, someone feeling a little paranoid um, or just very sensitive to things around you. This Nine of Swords, some of you may be have been up late at night thinking about someone, maybe thinking about Divine Masculine or you have a Divine Masculine over here who is, who's been um thinking about you waking up at night but i'm seeing that it's like you've been searching for something with all of these books lying around it feels like there's something you've been looking for um when it comes to like getting more clarity or getting more answers needing more answers um in regards to a situation um, I am picking up on an opportunity regarding your job or your finances where you're going to have to make a decision. I'm hearing yes or no. So something is being offered to you financially. And you're going to have a, a decision about yes or, or no. Do you want to take the offer? It looks like a good offer. I do see you as like getting more in touch with like how you feel. Queen of Cups, how you feel um, inside, how are, are certain situations, environments, people, how do you feel on the inside? And with the star, it's like healing, healing these these emotions, healing these these like feelings that have been maybe worrying you or causing you stress and anxiety. So it's like a moment of panic and then there's this light. The light at the end of the tunnel that I'm seeing here. It's like it's not, something is not what you imagined it to, to turn out like in a positive way. There's some sort of miracle here. So good and positive things are coming to light about a situation that you've been paranoid over, paranoid about here. Um, there's someone around you who's been feeling uh, tired and also a little bit defenseless, unable to protect or defend themselves, um, and a hurt emotionally, emotionally hurt. Three of Swords, hurting. You have someone who is like, whose heart is, is tired. So you and, and someone else here are kind of mirroring each other in, in that sense. And I do see you as stepping into this Queen of Swords where you are now not allowing, I'm hearing not allowing yourself to go back to how you how you were. Not allowing certain fears get the best of you. And it's like you are reading someone, reading situations, looking at things from a logical perspective. Um, but it does look like you've detached. You've detached yourself from a situation that you once cared about a lot. And because you are, because you are healing, you're healing. And as you're healing, it's like certain things and, and certain people are just not affecting you how they used to affect you. Progress. There's progress here. And I, I do see you as kind of like preparing, preparing for some sort of move here. Six of Swords is like moving towards a new destination, 
preparing, waiting for something in the process. You're in the process and like thinking logically about a situation for yourself, about what's right for you logically, what makes the most sense. Okay. Anyways, we do have someone who has been in limbo or hasn't taken action for a while and has been kind of like hanging in suspense all of a sudden, like pulling themselves out of this, this, this place here. For This is also, it's been a while, like since you've seen this person. Five of Wands. Ooh. Wow. Hanging on by a thread. This person is like hanging on by a thread without you. And now they're starting to look at things from a different perspective. Now they're starting to look at things differently. Understanding things differently. Realizing like, okay, this is like... I'm on thin ice with Gemini over here because you're you're different. You're acting different. You you're emotionally you feel different. Mentally you're different because of what you went through, because of the things you went through, or because of what this situation and person has put you through. You are now like not allowing any BS. Feisty. You're a feisty Gemini. Yeah, Two of Swords is like you uh, cutting something out, literally cutting cords with a situation in order to in order to move on. The world came out. So it's like getting that closure, closing that chapter, feeling like it's about time to to fully move on and let go, letting go because it's what feels right for you logically. Okay, ghosted. Yeah, someone could have been ghosted, silent. You, With this storm warning, it's like you're seeing the red flags for what they are. You're seeing people's actions before they could turn into like, um, before it could hurt you. It's like cutting something out before it could hurt you again. Again, ghosted. So someone definitely, confirmation, someone definitely ghosted a situation um and now you are led to make a make a choice i'm seeing some sort of faded meeting so someone someone else though someone possibly possibly new here who you do have some sort of like faded meeting meeting and you're you could be at a crossroads with this and another situation i was again at the beginning of the reading i was picking up on um an offer so you may be at a crossroads between an offer financially that could lead you to some sort of relocation okay so you have someone who's secretly crushing on you sees the value in you sees potential in this situation. They're looking at this as something solid, something valuable, something that they, they want to nurture and give their energy, time, commitment to. Oh, Knight of Cups? This person wants to sweep you off your feet, Gemini. <laughs> They want to sweep you off your feet. They know they know your value, Nine of Pentacles. This is how they're looking at you. They're seeing you as like, I don't need anyone. And they're very attracted to that. Because you you are in a place now where you're you can take care of yourself. You're you're happy um, with your own company. You are stable and you're you're happy with, with where you are. Pulling on this person's heartstrings over here. So that's their intentions. Is like they do want to express to you their emotions in some, in some form, and following their heart towards you. 
I see them as uh, contemplating things right now. It does seem they're a little bit lost as to how you feel. If whether or not you are on the same page as them or you want the same things as them. It's like, I wonder if Gemini wants me. That's what they're thinking. Ooh, yeah, the moon. There's like a conflict with them wanting to express how they feel and then also like almost wanting to withdraw or keep this keep this information hidden from you with that moon wanting to keep certain certain um information in regards to how they feel hidden from you because they see you as being independent and to be fair you're <laughs> you are showing off as like a queen of swords which is pretty in intimidating hmm Slowly, slowly, they're, they, they are wanting to express all of these love bubbles that are coming up. Tell me about this offer for Gemini. Okay. You do have an... When it comes to this, this offer... I'm hearing an offer that is like no longer a secret. So an offer that you may already be aware of at this moment in regards to being something that could release you and free you from being tied down to one place or one thing. Eight of Wands, again, this, is, this could be like distance, an offer that requires some sort of move, like physical action or, or move. Okay. Things are changing. So things are, are, are definitely changing right now. Financially, Four of Pentacles is like you being very, very secure. Like this person has a whole treasure chest underneath them. Being very stable. And this is from all the hard work that you've put in. But also very protective. So there is a, a I, I do see you going into like shadow work with what you're holding on so tightly to. The sense of security that you're holding on so tightly to. I see I see you saving a lot, Gemini. Or there's a need for you to save your money. Three of Pentacles is um, someone coming in wanting to work with you, work something out, collaborate, and build with you together, create something together. Someone wants to create something with you here. And you are going to be very... I just see like this level of clarity from you, Gemini, where it's like, I know what I want and... I know what what I need and what I don't need. The lovers is um a decision with within a relationship here. Six of cups. It's like you're making things happen, making things happen. Um, I do pick up like you're speaking. Some of you could be speakers or in a position where you're going to be a very great speaker. But I do see you as coming together with and seeing someone in, in a relationship, lovers type of way. And being very clear about what you want, who you want. But there's shadow work that I see you doing from this. So this situation may may cause or cause you to go within doing shadow work um, when it comes to like opening up or being being vulnerable. And that's a scary thing. Changes financially though. 
finances is looking like some of you are struggling and trying to make ends meet, feeling left out or unsupported in a way. And this has been a cycle. Um, I'm picking up like generational. So generational cycles of feeling like, like there's struggle. And there is going to be a change to this to the point where it's like you are going to be very good and very secure. And it's like relearning. You, are, you will be relearning what it means to feel safety and to feel security and not to be in survival mode all the time and be able to just let go time to time not holding on so tightly even it's like yeah saving your money is important but you don't have to hold on so tightly to to your finances i mean money is meant to be spent you know savings important there needs to be a balance but you are you will be learning relearning what it means to like actually um feel this sense of safety and not just hoard things so it's like breaking free from fam from family or generational uh fears in regards to money okay I'm being asked to stop so I'm seeing the number nine, four, five. Those numbers, they could resonate for you. It could be special days or birthdays. I'm seeing the letter D, M, S, C, S, W, Y. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. With that said, this is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know if you made it this far in the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.